Oh my god. Michael and Danny, thank you so much and welcome to the Four Year Reference Podcast. Oh, we're Thanks very so honoured to be here. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's an exciting time in world cinema, particularly in the genre of horror. Um, you might not toot your own horns, but I'll do it for you. Toot, toot. Hey. Talk to me. <laughs> Talk to me is that gal. Talk to me is the moment, just like Sophie Wilde. Oh. Yeah. Oh, dude, we're oh, yeah. pulling, we're pulling up. Yeah. Skirt, skirt. We're pulling up. <laughs> <laughs> we're very, uh, how awesome was Sophie? She's so incredible, yeah. the best performer, the best person. Oh, how awesome. Well, we're zooming in, if you'll pardon the pun, we're zooming in back to you. Um, so when we talk about the subgenre of conscious, psychological, social commentary sort of horror, I want to talk a little bit about Talk To Me and where, if that fits in that sort of subgenre. Yeah, yeah. Which subgenre specifically? Sorry, of the like psychological, social yeah, commentary. Yeah, well, yeah. It's all got to do with like uh, even even the phrases that the hands say is like talk to me. You know, I'm lonely and, and broken. I just need someone to talk to, and I, I let you in, even if you're bad for me. Whether it's drugs, or alcohol, or sex, like I'm letting you into my life. I'm letting you into my body. I think that there's like an over reliance and even like a glorification of vices. Yeah, like especially it with like social Insta media. stories at 3 a.m. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and lots of sneaky DNFs. <laughs> but yeah, so like, yeah, it's all just very personal and meaningful to me. And then like, uh, was just expressing how I was feeling at the time of writing it. And, um, mm-hmm. it yeah. yeah, we wanted the film to work as a horror film, but then also as a drama film at the yeah, same yeah, yeah. time. So we wanted to work on both levels. Um, and we wanted it to not be just be like a, a splatter film or something like that. We wanted a, the script to to have meaning and and it to be layered because that's the movies we like watching. The stuff that's yeah. like oh well, a lot of thought went into this. You know, that's the stuff we love we love watching. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> that sounds so stupid. Yeah, well, <laughs> thanks. I want to talk a little bit about the tone. Like horror is so expansive, and you can play a lot in that sort of space. You have the serious sort of films, Hereditary. Also, shout out to Babadook hey, as well. Yeah. He works on the Babadook. I do my homework. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and then you also have the really camp sort of horror, like Jason X. Yeah. Shout out. Sue your beanie. Hey. Um, and my personal favorite, Seed of Chucky. So I want to talk a little bit about this still. Chucky? Oh my God. Is that the one with his son? When? Guess again, Daddy. Glenda? That's my name. Don't you wear it out. Oh, shit. Get in, get in there. Yeah, oh yeah, my yeah. gosh! And then he had a kid. That's right. oh how awesome! Yeah, 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 Before yeah. its time as well. It was like a non-binary yeah. puppet. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh my god, that movie was awesome. I love Cedar Shockey. Yeah. That was oh, a- I wish we had the time. I really <laughs> wish we had the time. Um, but can we distill the tone of what you were looking for in Talk to Me? Yeah, we, we love it when uh, films are brave enough to like jump around between tones. Like we yeah. love Korean cinema and Bong Joon Ho yeah. and uh, Memories of Murder is our favorite mm-hmm. film. And uh, the way that it like balances different tones, whether it's comedy and drama and even suspense and horror in that film, uh, we're really inspired by that. And we didn't want our film to just be like one note. We wanted it to be like, yeah, there's horror in there, there's comedy in there, the drama's in there. We want to be able to have the freedom to jump. Because that's what life isn't just one emotion. You know, yeah. life isn't just scary or just funny or just sad. It's a balance of everything. And we're that's laughing, we, we're crying, exactly. we're having a good time. Yeah. And, and that's a good thing, like about like say Bong Joon Ho, like he gets on side with the characters because you like them so much mm-hmm. and they're funny. You know, it's like making relatable characters. So then when you know the bad stuff does happen, you're on side with them more. That's what we were trying to do. We're trying to, yeah, balanced genre. That's what we're attempting to do. This guy, useless. Sorry. <laughs> this is. You, you can also insult me too. We're part of the family. Yeah, wow. Well, <laughs> 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 the balancing, I want to talk about storytelling quickly. There's a sort of going and committing and going, if you'll pardon my language, full balls to the wall, yeah. or also refraining a character for a higher sort of impact. How is it balancing that? Yeah, yeah. Well, we like shot some of the more extreme stuff even more extremely, and then we peeled it back in the edit. Yeah. So there's like one scene where like a character goes to hell, and that scene used to go for like two and a half minutes, uh-huh. and we cut it down to 20 seconds because it felt like it it got too crazy and it was a bit like off-putting, or it felt exploitative, or yeah, it yeah, felt yeah. like a shock horror for just shock horror sake. Uh-huh. So it was like finding that balance in the edit, and then also in the scripting process as well. It was a lot. The original draft was a lot more. It was heavier. Graphic. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And then it was like, it was like, yeah, just not, not wanting to be off putting and like having those moments have meaning and carry weight and not just be there to be there. Um, but you want it, yeah. you want it to be shocking because it's a horror film, but then also not just be gratuitous for gratuitous sake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you yeah, want to yeah. earn those moments. So it was a balance, like trying to see 
it was a thin line, you know, to walk. But Even I, though think, I feel like it's pretty pretty violent, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> maybe, yeah. maybe uh, yeah. on one side, not the other. Maybe. Yeah. There were some definitely some proverbial money shots and scenes that people will talk about for years that are inside of this film. Oh, my God, for years. I hope so. <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> How cool would that be? Whether it's a personal belief or specifically in regards to Talk To Me, is there a balance between creativity and accessibility? You know, there's a big... Um, conversation about going independent. Um, is it giving them that Hansel and Gretel sort of crumbs along the way, or is it just letting it open for interpretation? Yeah, we like we love everything to be open for interpretation, and uh, yeah, there's so many meanings, to, so many different parts of it, aspects yeah, yeah, of yeah. it that we just want to people to be able to interpret it. Although, like in some interviews, we start talking too much about what it means to us personally, but like we like for it to be open and uh, yeah, mean whatever it's going to mean to anyone. The other hand's just out there. White people shit, man, I tell you. <laughs> I know my brown people don't play with that shit. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, yeah. Well, we have our friends Tamani and John, and yeah. uh, they would. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, uh, yeah, there was, like, so many different characters are based on people that I knew, and, uh, yeah, yeah. There was, like, our, our like... Our friend's older sister, Nellie, yeah. who, like, really, like, raised us and, like, helped us grow up and, like, pushed I us. I saw could... it. That's such a gorgeous video. Oh, that, I cried oh, three times, by the way. Oh, did you really? Oh, yeah, wow. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. It meant a lot to us as well. That was that was capturing our Sundance experience. But uh, even... Well, yeah. It just felt like a dream that, that yeah, Nellie, who, like, raised us and, like, helped steer us to filmmaking and not the other side, which was, like, the wrestling and, like, beat the crap out of each other. Yeah. Yeah, she really helped us. And she always spoke about Sundance. Uh, so the, the fact that she lived there and we hadn't seen her for 10 years and then we were able to see her at the premiere, that was it was awesome. Unbelievable. But even she said, why would anyone do the hand? <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. There's that brown connection. Yeah. But when we come up, we all come up together and it's such a gorgeous, beautiful moment. Um, I want to thank you so much for your time and wrap up with our final question. We finish our reviews with a recommendation. So what would you pair with Talk To Me as a double feature? Oh, well, it's a good question. Oh. Let me in. What's that? Nice. What movie is that? Oh, let the right one in. You mean? No. What, what's the what was the American version? It's let me in, right? Oh, let me in. Is I, it, I think in? let the right one in is better. I think. Oh, yeah, actually, well, the prudent the, they're both really good. Sorry. Yes. Yes. I I agree. Let the right one in or let me in. If only just for title's sake. Talk to me. You know. Let the white, light, right one in or let me in. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> No, it's good. We'll send it to Bruno Mars. It sounds like an R&B song. That's yeah, all oh, right. We'll yeah. have something here. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so Cheers. much. Thank you, thank you. Nice to meet you.